One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the BedJet app so you can remotely control your BedJet from your phone. And what you're going to do first is download the BedJet 3 app, which we've got right here. So we're just going to click Get and download that. Now we're going to open up the app. You'll need to allow BedJet to find Bluetooth devices to set up the BedJet app, so we're going to click Allow. This app scans for Bluetooth devices. Location permission turned on, we're going to click OK. It says allow BedJet to use location. We're going to click allow while using app. Smart remote and setup, click connect. Our BedJet V3 popped up right here, so we're going to click on that. And it says, it says new BedJet detected, connection started, but we need to authenticate that you are connecting to the correct BedJet device. Please press the low power button on the back of your bed jet twice. If the button is not recognized by the app, then you may be pairing the wrong bed jet device. So we're going to turn this around and press that button. Okay, so we turn the bed jet around and we're just going to click on the low power button twice. One, two. And you can see that activated the Bluetooth symbol here. And it says low power switch setting. The low power button should normally be left off if using a single bed jet in your room. If you have a dual zone system or two bed jets on the same bed, please make sure the button is set on or lit up. We're going to click OK. OK, now we've got the bed jet app set up. So let's see if it works with the app and just try a couple different settings. We're going to try cool. And we've got our fan set to 30%. And you may be able to hear the fan. We'll turn it all the way up so you can hear. And maybe we'll even put something like a little piece of paper in front of it so that you can see that it is currently blowing. You can see that our bed jet is working. And as soon as we try these different settings, they will turn on and start blowing air. So just watch for this piece of paper here. You'll see it's starting to blow, and uh, once it gets up to 100%, it really does have a lot of power. So uh, there we go. We'll turn that off and just go through some of the other settings on the BedJet app. So on the BedJet app, you've got multiple different settings. You've got turbo, which is going to heat it very quick. You've got heat, cool, and dry, and then EXT heat. You've got an auto shutoff timer here. You've got your biorhythm settings, so we can click on that, and then we can create a sequence here. We can uh, create a new one, load one, or save one, and then you've got different times and temperatures that you can set uh, with your biorhythm. So let's just say uh, suggest, it says uh, biorhythm, you make some decisions here. I'm going to click that. I am usually hot in bed using a cloud sheet. Yes, I am. And we're just going to do a sleep cycle only. And so you've got uh, kind of an information here. It gives you a uh, setting. So it's going to turn it on to turbo for just a little bit. Then it's going to wait. And then what we're going to have is cooling. And we're going to have cooling uh, all night. And I'm just going to click cancel on this. But you can then set that cooling duration for however long you want. So right here, it's 20 minutes but I could make that 21 minutes and click OK. And then you've got a lower percentage cooling later and that's gonna be for six hours. Let's actually put that to like seven hours and click OK. And then I could just uh, save this. So that's gonna be our biorhythm one, but we could change these all around. We're just gonna call this first one uh, trial and click okay and then we could create a new biorhythm in any one of these other ones that we've got right here so i could click on this and create a new one or i can just go back so we just did the suggested setting but you could just make your own what we've got down here is we've got our fan so you're going to just click right here uh, you have to make a selection first so we'll just do cool and then i'm going to put this way down because i don't want that fan to overpower what we're doing here so you could put it on to like five percent and it's barely even blowing but then uh, once you've made a selection there you can change the temperatures uh, right here uh, left or right or up or down so you could go all the way up or all the way down on uh, cooling 
and then you can save those settings so you could have a quick setting for what you want um, let's say I just want to save this setting we'll call that memory one and then uh, we will just say uh, set one okay and now I've got a quick setting here if I want to use that and I could load those up in any one of these so let's take a look at some of the other menu options here in the bed jet uh, you could add a new device if you've got two of these you can look at your paired devices uh, you could rename the bed jet so if you've got two of these and two people are controlling it uh, you would probably want to rename it left and right of bed uh, and then you've got lights and sounds here you can mute the beeps and disable leds uh, that is what i've done i don't want any beeps or anything like that and i don't want uh, any kind of uh, lights on if I don't need to have them on. You've got a clock set. Uh, it says the Bedjet clock updated to this device. You can update the firmware. You can set up Wi-Fi. Uh, you can change your temperature units uh, right there. Or you could factory reset this if you're going to set it up in a new location or if you're going to give this to somebody. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. I've been trying out the Bedjet for about a week now and uh, my favorite fed settings so far are the turbo. I like to just heat it up in the morning sometimes uh, or at night before I go to bed or if it's just been a cool day. And then usually I sleep hot, so then I will cool. So it feels pretty cool to uh, turn it up to turbo and uh, get the bed warm. It's just very cozy. Uh, dogs love it. Uh, the dogs burrow underneath in that warm, dry sheet and air. They think it's great. And then because I usually do sleep cool, or actually I sleep hot, I do like to set it to cooling uh, while I'm asleep. And it makes a significant difference. Even if the air temperature is fairly warm, the cooling, just moving that air uh, through the sheet does help me actually uh, be a lot cooler. So that's one of my favorite things about this. And then I just like the different variability of what you can choose. You've got turbo, heat, cool, or if you just want to drive, it's super humid. That's just going to circulate some air throughout um, the sheet and keep you drier. And I think that's the biggest way that this works is just moving the air underneath the sheet allows your own body to be more effective at cooling. As well as I like that I can still use my comforter. So the bed jet sheet, I've got the cloud sheet is underneath the comforter. And um, it's nice that I can still have the comforter on top and then the bed jet sheet underneath. And I just like having a comforter on top just for comfort. So that's really nice without overheating. Um, but if it's cold and in the winter, I think this is going to be really great. So I've only had this in the springtime so far. And I've really enjoyed it uh, just to help me sleep cooler when we have a hotter night. Um, or when we've had cooler nights, it's been nice to turn it up a little bit and just get warm in the bed. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up the BedJet app. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.